Hey everyone, it's Emily Fox. Today I am challenging myself to attempt to read a whole book in 24 hours. So from tonight and midnight, which to be honest, I will most likely be asleep, but I have till tomorrow at midnight to read a whole book. Not a small one either. This is Black Sun, which has 450 pages exactly. Uh, a little intimidated, but it was a nominee on the Goodreads Choice Awards. And so far there aren't that many people that have rated it on Goodreads, but People all seem to really love it, even people that I do follow. So I'm excited. I've been meaning to read it. And I thought, you know what? I haven't forced myself, challenged myself to read a whole book in a day. I feel like I have become really bad at focusing on a book without reaching for my phone. So I'm challenging myself. One book, one day. Let's do this. So let's remove this because I want to read it. This is what it looks like. Pretty classic with some... Ooh, okay. Um, I do like a good map and a colorful one is like even better. Let's look at the first sentence just because I've been on a kick. Okay, <laughs> I am sold so far. Look at the first two sentences. Today would become a god, his mother had told him so. Well then, I'm excited, I'll see you in a bit. Good morning, I just read the first three chapters. Did not end up reading much last night, I <laughs> fell asleep hard and I slept in a little bit. It's almost 9.15 right now. So I read three chapters, so like 37 pages, not a ton, but I want to get up, get ready, have breakfast, and then I can start my day and start binge reading as much as possible. I will be listening to the audiobook as I do that, but I just wanted to update you. Uh, the first chapter, things <laughs> start um, pretty fast, pretty hard. You're following this teenage boy um, and his mom is basically drugging him, carving a shape on his body, uh, suing his eyes shut, and then she kills herself. So I think things are going to be intense. You know, that, that's that's my, my thought so far. Uh, three chapters, three point of views, I don't know if there are going to be more. So far, definitely intrigue though, so I'll update you a little bit later. <laughs> Okay, so it's about 11.15 and I wanted to update you. I've been listening to the audiobook as I was uh, eating breakfast and then getting ready. I'm at a third of the book at page 150, so chapter 14. Things are going well. Uh, I finally got perfectly installed on my couch with pillows. I got my warming blanket. I am so ready to just read as much as possible today. Uh, it's actually so sunny. You can't even tell, it's so bright. So I am 100% in my happy place right now. So I'm going to be uh, trying to read a good chunk of it right now. So I don't feel too stressed tonight at midnight, but uh, so far so good. I feel like the audiobook in the beginning, I was struggling a little bit. I did put the speed much lower than I usually do. I usually listen to books at like 150, 1.5 <laughs> speed. And uh, I listened to this one at 1.25, just because I'm trying to get better at remembering the names of the characters. And I do think it was useful to hear them out loud. But so far, I am confused. I am very much intrigued because there is some back and forth between timelines. And I just want to know what uh, Serapio's mission, what it is, because uh, after his mom, well, before his mom killed him herself, she told him that he had a mission, he was to become a god, and now it's like 10 years later, and there's a mix between how he learned to become whatever he is now and right now. So yes, I'll update you in a couple more hours. I am officially at 50% of the book, chapter 20. Uh, things definitely have picked up. So many um, assassination attempt people that are dying, are they killing themselves, being killed, assassinated? Who knows? Uh, I didn't expect it to be so filled of political intrigue. I'm very much enjoying it. A little confused, but I can't wait to see or understand what's going on, really. I'm also really enjoying uh, the other characters that are on the boat. The magic. Obviously, I'm going to be into that. And uh, I can't wait to get more of that, too. It's currently about 1.15, 1 1.30. Earlier, I said that it was... 11.15, but it was 12.15. I forgot to change the time on uh, my oven, so. <laughs> uh, things are going well. I think I can expect to finish the book today. I think, you know, we're going pretty fast, although knowing myself, things will start slowing down right now. I'm getting sleepy. Uh, 
sometimes when I read, I'm sure you have the same issues, I just feel like, eh. And I mean, the warm blood kit, I'm very, very comfy right now. But I think eating something will wake me up. My stomach has been all over the place. So like this morning, I didn't show it. Usually I try and show my food, but like I had chicken and rice soup. So nothing really exciting. And now I'm going to go make myself a snack, which is probably going to be white bread and applesauce. But um, before I do that, I wanted to talk to you because I saw the cat, the black cat, which we still need to give names to uh, all the cats because there are four, right? And eventually, I will go ahead and have pretty pictures of them so I can always put them. But I think it was like the number one cat, that one. And I ran to get the treats to try and, you know, renew our friendship because I haven't seen him uh, much during the winter, I mean, the chair is not outside anymore, so you can't go and sleep there. So I rushed to have to grab the treats and like shook the little box because <laughs> he was walking, and I was too late. He just did not care whatsoever. So no ca cat's clip, no nope, no clips of the cat. But I will get to him before the summer. I mean, once the chair is back outside, I will be able to bribe him all over again, and we'll become friends, and I will be able to pet him again. I forgot to mention. Uh, you know that phenomenon that whenever you hear something or whatever, you, kept, you keep seeing it or hearing it over and over again? It's been happening to me all year with the pandemic. I feel like every book I'm reading has a pandemic or they're talking about like disease, ziz, and then in this one, there's this. I'll insert a clip between you and Corvid. The book contains giant crows, so Corvids, which <laughs> is very close to COVID and I feel like I can't escape it. You know, every time I'm reading for pleasure and pandemics and corvids. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go back to um, my applesauce, which I haven't had applesauce in forever. And I'm actually not mad about it because it's good. I feel like a kid all over again. And then I'm eating. It's such a feast. I'm eating white bread. <laughs> Anybody else eats their bread like this? Me, it's like warm bread. I don't like it. Well, it's a bit pale. It could be a bit more toasty. But like, people that eat it super toasted, I can't. But just warm bread, it's the best one. Anyway, I'll update you in a couple more hours. And I have a mini haul too, coming. I don't want to forget to mention it, because there is a non-binary character. But right here, it is actually a trans woman too. So if you want to read a book with great representation, definitely include this book on your TBR too. Well, well, well. Look who we've got here. Let's grab some peanuts for him, shall we? He's just staring at me. I feel very scared. So I'm only at chapter 25, so page 291, and I need a break, to be honest. I feel like I've been sitting for a while, so I thought I would share with you a mini haul, and then I think I'm going to go on a walk, because it's really nice outside. It's supposed to be starting to warm up. Like, it was... Today, I think it's supposed to be 1 Celsius. <laughs> but the rest of the week, it's supposed to become, like, 15, which I'm super excited, because... Uh, so, some of you might have noticed in one of my recent videos that I finally got my hands... Finally, on this edition of uh, The Midnight Library by Matt Hegg, which finally, because I kept seeing this, this version, which I think is ugly. I've been calling it the ugly edition, and some of you told me that uh, you much prefer it over the one I finally got. But I don't know, the colors are just making me much happier. It's visually, aesthetically more pleasing to me. So I got this one um, from Amazon US because it's not in Canada. So... Yes, finally able to get that one. Very, very excited. And then, from my Amazon wish list, which a uh, huge thank you to Mark, because oh, I need to show you in a bit. I was going to say, remind me. <laughs> I will insert that clip right now. Okay, so let me show you what I meant. Um, I hit it now. <laughs> so the story is that I obviously tried to lit the match and then it flew, dropped on the dresser and obviously I decided to blow on it because I was freaking out 
and it decided to just drop on the side of the dresser where I couldn't reach it. So I panicked thinking, I'm gonna burn down the place. But luckily it was not lit anymore when it was on the floor. But I had a little moment of panic that I was going to burn down the place. My place. So, and the sad part is that it's not the first time it has happened to me. So I cannot be trusted around matches. So yeah, um, because I cannot be trusted, <laughs> I now have... Ooh, oh, I can actually open it just like that. Okay, well... Uh, how do you call that in English? Yeah, it's an electric lighter and it's rechargeable. I am very, very excited to use it. I think I'm going to use it tonight with my candles when I want to read tonight. Uh, so yeah, I will not be burning down my place, which it's not funny, but it kind of is. Uh, and then got me these, which thank you so much, book two and can I grab them? Yep. Three of the Millennium series, which actually you can see it right there. Uh, earlier, no, last month, I read the first book, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, which I don't know why I didn't read them when they were published. Like for some reason, just never had any interest. Did I just have an impromptu nap? Yes, yes I did. But I'm now back to reading, so <laughs> I'll update you soon. It looks like a product placement, but I'm not sponsored. It's the thing about that's the thing about reading all day when you're not feeling well. On the bright side, you have no nothing better to do. On the bad side, you might have some naps uh, <laughs> at one point. I don't even do naps usually, but it just happened. But as you saw, I'm at 368. Um, so much has happened. I have no idea how that's going to end because I'm seeing things coming. And this is the first book in a series. I have a feeling also I'm going to be able to finish it before, way before midnight, so I might be able to pick something else. Or maybe I should continue one of the books that I have, like Outlander. I should do that, actually. So I think that's going to be the plan. I have about 80 pages left, and then we'll try, attempt to read as much as possible from Outlander. So... Okay, so the setting is probably really bad, but I wanted to talk to you as I'm doing my skincare. So we're gonna bear with it for five seconds. Kind of creepy that there's like a second me, but whatever. So I finished my first read of the day. I read 450 pages in one day. I am extremely proud. As far as the ending, so many things have happened. Um, I obviously am keeping this spoiler free, but I enjoyed the book quite a bit. I have to say, between the multiple uh, characters, like storyline point of views you're following, I much prefer the one following the God Crow and the Teak Woman over the other storylines, but they do converge towards the end. It's not a spoiler. And I'm really curious how it's going to continue. Like, I have no idea. It was overall pretty satisfying. I'm a little on the fence about some things, like for example, don't care about romance it's not overpowering the story or anything but I mean we know I have a very low tolerance for romance so I will take the blame on that one I did appreciate the fact that where's the cap on this okay um by the way love this <laughs> this is the uh, Laneige toner I really love the magic system definitely want more of that I mean giant crows Yes, <laughs> I will read a book about that. Appreciate the LGBTQ plus representation. I really didn't expect it. I hadn't heard anyone mention it. And uh, there was, like I was mentioning, a trans woman. And then there were, I think, two non-binary characters. Like they were just saying like a third gender. And it was just there. And I really appreciate that more and more books are doing that. Actually, I just finished uh, Monks and Robots, I think, by Becky Chambers. And there's another non-binary non character, which... I'm glad there are more and more. I'm just saying this for the first time. This is the Dr. Jars Sika Pear Tiger Grass Sleep Hair Intensive Mask. Let's just do this. I saw the texture of it, which I'm kind of... <laughs> we'll see. Um, doesn't really have a scent. So yes, um, the book, if I have to give it a rating right now, I always like to give myself like a day or two, but... I would say four. Like, it's pretty darn solid. I 
much prefer a physical copy over the audiobook. Like I'm glad I got for once I was really prepared. I got the audiobook so I could do like try to actually just read that one book throughout the day. Um, but I feel like it's too hard to follow with the names and all the like the places and everything to uh, listen to it as an audiobook at least for me. So I'm glad I had the physical copy and I was able to do that instead. So for now, since it's still kind of early, uh, I don't know exactly what time it is because I'm using my phone right now, but I believe it's about like 9.30. So I probably have an hour or two that I can still spend reading. I did start the audiobook of Outlander while I was showering and I started and I was about 40% and probably like 42% right now. So I will attempt to read a little bit more of the physical copy and hopefully I don't crash and fall asleep before I do an update, but I'm really proud of myself. Like I haven't read a big book like that in one day in forever. So I'll see you for one last update. Let's choose another book. I did mention I thought about continuing this one. So let's do this. I give up and by that I mean I'm going to bed, but up. Whoop. I've only read two chapters in my defense. I much prefer listening to it as an audiobook than reading the physical copy, so I will attempt to finish it because otherwise it's going to end up in my pile of shame. We don't want that. Um, yeah, I'm going to attempt to finish it as an audiobook before the end of the month, but I did it though. I'm still really happy. I feel like I read a lot more in the morning, kind of less and less throughout the day, but I did end up finishing a whole book and I did end up not going on my phone as much as usual so I think it was overall a success. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe, more videos on the screen and I will see you next weekend actually for another reading vlog because I have something else coming up.